guys welcome back to my channel success engineering official so today we are going to continue with our uh, water supply pipe sizing so as you can see here we have already done for the ground floor and first floor both the toilets uh, pipe sizing has been completed so we today we are going to just see the uh, just uh, place and write the pipe sizing for the main pipe so as you can see and this is the pipe size for this toilets okay so, and uh, and this is the pipe size for this toilet okay for the first floor there are two toilets okay and this pipe is uh, this is the main riser okay this is the main riser coming from the ground floor and from the same main riser there will be one branch is going to the first floor okay if you see here on the roof this pipe is going uh, through two, uh, two OTS OTS is nothing but the open to the sky is soft is called soft also so both uh, these two pipes are going with uh, different OTS and it will be distributed in both the toilets at uh, both the floors okay <coughs> So this uh, this will be clearly explained in the riser diagram so I will make uh, in the next tutorial the riser diagram and uh, it will be very clear for you how this pipe is distributed so now we have to just uh, write uh, here on the roof what will be the pipe size okay here so first of all uh, you can see here uh, this uh, this riser is going uh, and distributed to this toilet okay this toilet so <coughs> sorry so we have to see and the same riser is going to this toilet also okay and the ground floor so first of all we have to see here the total number of fixture units so you can see here the total fixture unit is 32 here okay and uh, <coughs> <coughs> So here uh, you can see here the number of fixtures okay here uh, four uh, WC and four hand spray and laboratory are also four okay so for the laboratory 1.5 and here and the on the first floor the four fixture uh, four WC and four hand spray laboratory is only two so total fixture units are here 32 okay uh, but uh, laboratory here additional is only two laboratories are additional here okay so uh, for the fixture unit for the one laboratory is, is 1.5 fixture unit so you have to subtract a minus 3 okay so 32 uh, 32 minus 3 okay so for the first floor ground floor 32 okay and uh, plus for the first floor 32 minus 3 it will be 29 29 will be added so total fixture unit is 61 okay so here your total fixture unit will be here your total fixture unit will be Simply move this, move like this, okay. Take one line and simply write it here. Simply select this one, go to this property and change it to this normal line. Make it by layer, okay. Okay, now we have to copy this text from here, okay. Simply copy from here. this text is a uh, visibility is a uh, very less because here you can see here this 45 transparency for the text is 45 that's why it's looking a little bit dark black it's not showing uh, it not visible complete white so we need to change the visibility go to this layer layer property and you can see here 
transparency you need to change it to zero okay now it's showing a complete white okay <coughs> so you have to edit this one double click to edit so total fixture unit will be 61 fixture, uh, fixture unit will be 61 okay then what will be the pipe size for this 61 fixture unit and GPM is a, a, a velocity is 2 FPS so you have to calculate go to this IPC international plumbing code let us open this okay and go to this 146 page number so you can see here this is a table for estimating demand so you can see the total fixture unit is the fixture unit so look for the 61 so here is the 60 okay so it is near about 60 approximate so this is the GPM okay 32 32 GPM so for 32 GPM you have to go for go to this graph okay here for a smooth pipe and uh, just take uh, just mark it here take one line and mark the flow is 61 here like this it's not so you have to move this little bit okay so it's here and what will be the velocity so velocity is 2 fps Okay, and simply make a draw one more line where these two lines are coinciding so this is the another line third line okay and now we have to check this this line is near to which uh, dia so this is uh, your three inch and this is the four inch so this will be your three and a half inch okay so this is your this line is showing three and a half inch so you need to write it here remove it a little bit just copy this <coughs> since percent C okay showing dia so what will be the dia three and half three and half inch Three and a half inch. <coughs> Diameter will be three and a half and fixed unit is sixty one. You need to write the GPM also. Fixture unit is sixty one. What will be the GPM? So GPM is Fixture unit is GP, uh, 61, so GPM will be 33, not uh, 60. You have to look for the 33. Here is wrong. Okay. You have to look for, uh, I actually, I draw this one wrong, so you have to delete this. This also, both, all three lines will be deleted. Uh, we have to draw on 32 GPM, not 61. The fixture unit are 61, so here will be your 32. This will be your 32. Okay. This is your 32, and velocity is 2 fps. So draw a line on this 2 fps, and simply coincide this. Draw another line here. So your pipe size will be two and half inch, not three inch. Okay. So your pipe size will be here two and half. Two and half inch. Okay, fixture unit is uh, 61 and uh, you have to write uh, GPM also. So simply copy this.
text near to this pipe do not keep that much of distance okay so also you need to move this also move near to the pipe and make this little line smaller <coughs> okay so what will be your GPM here you need to check on the ground floor so your ground floor you can see here this is a Okay, so in the ground floor you can see here the uh, four WC and four hand spray and three laboratories. Okay, so for WC five fixture unit each. Uh, you can check it here or simply open this uh, pipe says. This is uh, this Excel sheet. So uh, it will take your time. It will save your time if you simply enter here in the Excel sheet. So this WC total you have to write it here. Okay. So you can see here this is a uh, four WC and four hand spray, one sink, and uh, three laboratories. So WC is four and uh, hand spray is also four and bidet laboratory is two sink is one okay in the this is for the ground floor okay so for the first floor you can see here first floor also four wc4 hand spray one sink and four laboratories you should add this so total eight four ground floor and four four and four first floor so eight wc and eight hand spray also laboratory on the first floor the laboratories are Four numbers so you have to add it here so total will be six and kitchen sink one so two so you can see here this is the total fixture unit so 63 so for 63 you have to look for the GPM here in this table here so this is the fixture unit so you can go to this tool okay and 63 is between these two so you have to consider the 71 I'll take the nearest value so 60 32 gpm so it is similar to this uh, similar to this one so uh, it is uh, simply write it here 61 or 63 fixture unit and GPM is 34 take the nearest value 34 and pipe size will be the same okay so two and a half so I think you guys learned something from this video and the next tutorials we will guys we will show you how to draw the riser diagram considering all these values okay and after that we have to calculate the pump head calculation or transfer pump head calculation so please be with me and keep watching my tutorials and uh, please like and share my video so thank you for watching my tutorials thank you for watching my video thank you bye bye